All right, this question is addressing the phenomenon where an individual affected by an autosomal dominant trait has a one half probability, one half chance of passing this causative allele down to a child. So if you have two copies of a gene, big A and big A, or I guess if you're gonna be heterozygous, big A and little a, or a plus and a minus, you have an equal probability of passing one down versus the other. Which of these four phenomena describe how and why this happens? And the answer is the law of segregation, right? It says that during meiosis, all the allele pairs line up and then one goes to one gamete and one's gonna to go to the other. Recombination doesn't have anything to do with that, neither does inbreeding and mitosis is completely excluded because this is during the process of meiosis.